Hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on another subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is called as the mental cell lymphoma. If you haven't watched our previous video on the follicular lymphoma, just watch the video and then resume this video. To start with the basics, as you already know that within the lymph node, we have the areas which are called as the cortex, paracortex and the medulla. I have told these structures in the video on the structure of lymph node and if you do not know about these structures yet, just watch that video again and you will feel comfortable. So we have cortex, we have paracortex and we have the medulla. This outermost area is called as the cortex. Just deep to the cortex we have paracortex and in the center we have the medulla. Now if we take on the cortex, within the cortex we have what are called as the follicles. Now these follicles they are round structures which are formed as a result of the aggregation of the B lymphocytes. So in the follicles we have primarily the B cells which are aggregated in the structures and they form the follicles. Now in the center of the follicles the B cells they are loosely arranged and as a result of that the center will have a lighter appearance and this is called as the germinal center. And if we take on the periphery of the follicles, in the periphery, the B cells, they will be densely packed like this. And again, if we go outside the follicles, just at the margin of the follicle, there is a zone of cell in which the B lymphocytes, they are very loosely packed. And that zone is called as the mental zone. So this is the mental zone. If I try to make that mental zone on the lymph node itself, this will be the mental zone. Here this will be the mental zone. Now the mental zone lymphoma is actually the neoplastic growth of B cells that is arising and expanding the mental zone. So therefore in case of mental zone lymphoma, the neoplastic proliferation it primarily occurs in the mental zone and this mental zone is actually the zone of lymphocytes which are very loosely packed and they are present in the periphery of the follicles. Now if we talk about the pathogenesis and actually pathogenesis is the most important part which you have to remember for your exams, rest nothing is that important. The pathogenesis of this type of lymphoma, it involves a mutation which is called as T1114 mutation. As you know that in follicular lymphoma the mutation was 1814 translocation but in this case it is 1114 translocation and on the 11th chromosome we have a gene for cyclin D1. So as a result of the mutation, the cyclic D1 gene will go onto the Ig heavy chain locus on the 14th chromosome and as a result of this, there will be an increased expression of cyclin D1. Now this cyclin D1 is a cell cycle regulator protein and as a result of the increased production of this cyclic D1, there will be increased transition of cells from G1 to S phase. As a result of this, the cells they will divide rapidly and therefore will result in the neoplastic proliferation. So this is the whole idea of the mental cell lymphoma or the mental zone lymphoma and all you have to remember is where is the mental zone and what is the pathogenesis that is driving the mental zone lymphoma. Now if we talk about the diagnosis, again the diagnosis can be made by histology and the immunophenotyping. In the histology you will see the characteristic pattern that the lymphoma is arising in the mental zone whereas in immunophenotyping you will see the markers which are specific for the B cells like the CD20 marker and CD19 marker. Also in case of the mental zone lymphoma there is another marker which is present that is called as CD20. CD5. Now CD5 is typically a marker of the T cells but in case of the mental zone lymphoma these B cells they also show the CD5 receptor. So this was the whole idea of the mental zone lymphoma. If you like this video do subscribe to our YouTube channel.